This is better. I needed to get out of that house. All the old memories of Aunt Phoebe? Well, one day I know I'll be able to wrap them around me like her old mink coat, but I'm just not ready to miss her yet. Don't even, Mom. You miss her now. I do. I have to make the funeral arrangements, so... When's the last time you closed your eyes? I don't know. I think the hospital chapel. We'll go use my old room, try to get some sleep. I'll make the calls. Oh, sweetie, I know you want to help, and I love you for it, but I have to do this. I have to try and let it sink in that... that she's gone. Jimmy, where's your mom? Oh, Maria, you stole my kids and I want them back. Sam? Maddie? You gotta get in here right now, do you hear me? Maria, your Where kids are you aren't here. Brooke? My mom's not hiding anyone. No, I know they have to be here. My kids ran away and of course they will come to you because you're the one that they love and... You listen to me. If you drove your kids out of your house, it's your fault. You lay the blame on your doorstep and not mine. You and you alone drove them out of your house? Just loving this, aren't you? Does it look like my mom's loving anything right now? Two words. Back off. My mom just lost the closest thing she had to a mother. She doesn't need you in her face. I know all about the crud you pulled on her at the dinner. It stops right now, right here. What the hell's going on? James, do me a favor. Take your mother in the kitchen and uh, make her a cup of tea. So what did I just walk in on? Me at it again. I... My kids ran away and I came over here i like a banshee at Brooke for stealing them. I don't know what, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Well, if the kids are gone, aside from being scared for them and mourning Edmund, you probably have a monster hangover, from what I understand, and that's not necessarily a good combination. Yeah, but it's out of control. I mean, it's truly out of control. I just run around town doing unforgivable things. Forgiveness everybody. is an inside job. If it means anything, I found that people in Pine Valley generally have a very short memory, which is a blessing, because if they didn't, I wouldn't have a friend in the world. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Oh, Brooke, please, please let me apologize. I'm, I am so, I'm so sorry, and not for just barging in here like an idiot just now, but also for last night and every single thing that I said. I was so, uh, I, I was so off base, and I regret every single thing I said. Let's just forget it. No, I, I can't. I, re I really can't, because today is one of those days that you wonder how you're even going to get through. And I just came in here and, and made it worse for you. And I mean, Phoebe was truly one of a kind, and Pine Valley will not be the same without her. So please accept my, my condolences and my heartfelt apology. Thank you. Yeah, orchids were one of my aunt's favorites. Thank you. Um, I will be by later this afternoon to finalize arrangements. All right, thanks. Bye-bye. Brooke. You saved my life. For my mom, get out of this house. Not today, Jamie. You heard me. Get out. I will when your mother asks me to. Go upstairs, Mom. I'll take care of this. You impudent pup. Jamie, thank you. But I've been handling this impudent old dog for a long time, long before you were born. No, Mom, he's trying to work an angle. He's what happened to Aunt Phoebe. I know all his angles. Adam, would you join me outside? Too bad.
bed. He's too big to send to his room. Don't start. I'm not sure that he's wrong. So, how did I save your life? Well, no exaggeration. I did as you asked. Ordered? <laughs> well, I saw a doctor. Got a physical. Sure enough, my blood pressure was over the moon. Because you stopped taking your medication? Mm -hmm. Thanks to your brow beating, I'll be back to 100% in no time. You really scared me, Adam. Well, I, you scared me right back. Enough to listen. Doctor gave me a diet, an exercise plan. I'll be around for a few dozen of Colby's birthdays, and I plan to celebrate every one of them with her. I'm glad to hear it. Well, I could use a little more enthusiasm. Well, it's going to take more than giving up bacon cheeseburgers to save you. There's a bigger threat to your life. I have survived the Carey women, Hayward, Martin, tornadoes, takeovers, and market crashes. I can survive anything. You proved my point. Your diet isn't limited to cheeseburgers and salt. No, no, I prefer supplementing it with some foie gras, preferably in aspic, and uh, salmon. Line caught with loads and loads of... Pain. Anger and revenge? against Crystal, and Babe, and David, and Tad, and my son. You forgot Liza. You're obsessed with making them suffer. I mean, you go out of your way every chance you get to stomp them into the ground. But the doctor recommended exercise. Yes. Well, a steady diet of hate is going to eat you from the inside out, no matter how great you look. Oh, you noticed? Listen to me. You keep this up, your days are numbered. You need to stop. Brooke, are you the cure for what ails me? Maybe I am. And maybe not. But it has to start with you, Adam. The disease gets worse. Every time you strike out at Tad or Babe or my son. You want me to throw Jamie a party? Buy him a new car, maybe? I don't expect you to turn into Santa Claus. I'm just saying, keep an open mind. Instead of going for the juggler, offer a hand. Yeah. Turn the other cheek. In this crowd? <laughs> Not likely. Oh, Adam, you have so much. Share it. Enjoy it while you have the chance. Well, if it'll make me a better man, why not? What? Just like that, you're going to stop gnawing on your enemy's bones. You're very convincing. Well, you're not. I know you too well, Adam, so please don't play me. Look, I don't expect you to make a 180-degree turnaround. I just want you to make an effort. I mean, if you live more gently, you could live longer. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe even happier. Mm. No vendettas, no revenge, no blood feuds. That's a lot to ask. But, um, well, maybe I'll try it your way. On one condition. You want my help? <laughs> How did you know? I just thought I would save you the effort of trying to manipulate me. Because you will need all your strength if you're going to use me as your life coach.